Where's Dad? I'm gonna give him a kiss. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got an Overwatch video. We're going to be doing a, a little bit, a bit of Overwatch coaching. Uh, I did this before in the past, and um, haven't done one in a while. We're gonna be doing a, a support game. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So the person we're gonna be spectating here, this is this is Jay. Jay's a cool friend of mine. You can check him out on his Twitter. So this is gonna be a plat game we're gonna be going into um, and take a look at. So let's do it. First, we're starting off uh, pretty strong. Um, that, that's that's good pylon placement. We're immediately being pressured, but I don't know what our Roadhog is doing. Not with us. I got crits all over the board here. Roadhog dies, unfortunately. I, just, I don't know what Roadhog was doing there. And we we get absolutely stormrolled. So, there's, there's not much you, you could have done there. So that really, there wasn't really much you could have done there. You were immediately pressured by Diva and Reaper, and Roadhog was kind of nowhere to be seen okay now I, I let's go back a bit let's go back a bit oh, that's probably way too far um this placement is is good um unfortunately though our team don't seem to be holding here so we should move back a bit and then we we dive towards diva now I'm sure that was a mistake, um, I'm sure you didn't mean to dive towards D.Va. Alright, and then we switched to Kiriko. Seems to be the better play here, they do have D.Va and they're kind of eating a baller at our shots, so um, Kiriko does seem to be the better play. It also is, you know, a lot more healing, because um, our pylon just keeps getting wrecked by D.Va. Alright, we got a ball now. Genji unfortunately getting more, um... Right, uh... Yeah, you know, actually no, I'm fine. I'm fine with using Suzy there. I was fine. Right. Now our tank seems to be just hot swapping. Um, you know, from, from Roadhog to Ball to Doomfist. I, I don't seem to know what they're doing. Um, but Genji has just has just ran in here uh, with his blade. And Lifeweaver has thrown his, his tree up. Let's see this plays out. So there wasn't much you could do to save uh, Hanzo there. Um, we do know that, yeah, over there. Doomfist does come to save us. Reaper teleports beside us there. Reaper, Reaper still, Reaper still, yeah. I think just there, we we, we do see Reaper teleport. Um, he kind of goes from this low ground, comes around and teleports up beside us. Now, we should have we should have been looking out for that. We, we kind of just let him stay there and kind of ignored him. Um, and he unfortunately does get that, that, that death blossom off. Unless Doomfist and Moira hold that fight, which it actually looks like they do. Alright, Grand. Grand. More of that. I like this. I like this going to save Doomfist. He's gone a bit far. He's now outside the enemy spawn, so we shouldn't follow him to save him. That's way too far. I think I think it's just doing first getting. Yeah, there's there's not much you you could do there to save them, um, and doing first is gonna try to hold the point as long as he can. Gets a kill, but it's not gonna it's not gonna do much. It's yeah, that point's gone. He's just running away. Where did Moira go? So Moira, Moira was out fighting on the point. Went out after Doom. All right, we come back. You're you're scrapping against you. You, you kill him. Fuck it. Good job. I don't know why we stopped there. I'm gonna. That was that was sort of a, a little panic, Suzu. I'm gonna assume. Um. Unfortunate there. This I'm fine with. Yeah, great. Right. How does this play out? Genji does manage to get Zarya, which is quite unfortunate. They seem to be pairing that Genji blade with um, Tree of Life. And it seems to be working for them. Um, getting out. The Suzu wasn't really needed there. 
Well, I have, but she managed to die with trans on her. But hey, you got her. Good job. Um, I wouldn't push any further than this. Good thing about Kiriko is she can she can pressure people from from quite quite some range. Um, fighting Zenya, it can be a little risky. Uh, Zenya is is little little unit, so he can be he can be quite bothersome to fight one v one. Right, we yeah. Just about to point that out. We do hear Reaper teleport behind us. Luckily, the both of you, you and Soldier, managed to apply a good enough amount of pressure to him that you got away. That you, like he just left. Uh, but we do need to be aware that he he does like to get his little flanks off. Oh yeah, that's a good. We sh we should win this fight. We are up in numbers. Oh oh. Using the ultimate to try keep Zarya alive. Oh. Uh, hmm. See that? No, that's a difficult one. Go back a bit just be to be four. So we're fighting with Soldier on high ground. We see Anna over here, tries to sleep us, and then we turn. We we go to fight Anna. So you push with Soldier, and while this is happening, Tree of Life was gone off in the back. Reinhardt is down here with Life Weaver. Forgot his name. Um, Moira, Cass, and Zarya are fighting, and Reapers over here. Seems to be chasing Reaper. So while this is happening, you two get antied. Zarya gets pinned, and just as that happened, Reaper walks up to these two and presses Q. And we have a five seconds on Suzu. Now, now this this is going. This could have been Moira. I think she's she's as good as dead here. Now this is going. This Moira, I think, is as good as dead. But I guess Lowe's kind of yeah. Alright, Reinhardt gets a smack in him. I was gonna say, maybe you could have gotten a Suzu there to keep Cass alive. Um, maybe long enough for him to get out. Uh, roll away from Death Blossom. But Reinhardt does, unfortunately, get a smack on him. Just before that happens. And then Zarya stands there. While they all run at her. Soldiers in the back fighting Anna still. I think I think just that happening was quite unfortunate. There wasn't much you could have done. The ult to try keep Zarya alive. Uh, I probably would have held on to that. We swap Bastion now to try and kind of... Moira dives in and pops her ult. Unfortunately getting a massive shatter and that that's really unfortunate. So then we all just drop down. I think just to touch point we're kind of panicking. They're getting close. Music's kicking up, whatever. Um, I think we would have been fine staying here. Um, and if we still had a ult we could have sat up here. Bastion could have minced everyone. Um, and I think we actually would have won this fight if that happened. But we do drop down here. Moira gets absolutely clapped out of it. Oh, I don't know if you can feel that. She's munching a bottle. Come here. Come here. Let's watch, let's watch Jay play. But yeah, I, I think if we had held on to ult and we had just kind of sat on high ground there, um, I think we would have, especially with the Bastion. Um, we would have been able to hold on to that fight just a little longer. We probably would have won it as well, because they are... Can you not? You're being scrunkly, stop. Um, we do end up getting, unfortunately, shattered. Maybe Melgit does something here, but I... Maybe? No, Soldier gets rinsed by the other Soldier. It's just Melgit left and... Our tank seems to be just kind of hot swapping. Oh, we do all get back out though. Mauga did manage to hold it long enough to let everyone to get back out. Let's go back down to you here, see what's happening. Use the pedal is covered. We like that, we love to see it. And then just keeping Mauga alive. It's good. We're, we're, we're kind of pushing a little too far here. Um, if Soldier had a little bit better aim, you probably would have been dead there. Uh, as I said, like Kiriko can pressure from quite some distance away. Now we, we want to be, what we want to be is, could you not lick my hands please? We want to be um, conscious of our Suzu use, because uh, they do have, they do have Ana, so that's both sleep, Ana and the we have to look out for. So we don't really want to be just firing Suzu off uh, into situations where we don't really need it. So seeing Ana missed our last Suzu, I mean, uh, nade, and we win this fight. So I'm assuming this is the last fight. I'm assuming they don't get back to the payload. 
Yeah. But yeah, uh, not bad. Um, I, I, I know from playing with you, you're not a bad player. Um, you go to bed. I know from playing with you, you're not a bad player. Um, you even say to yourself, you know you're not a bad player. Uh, you just, why is this here? Uh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You do, you do know that you, there are some inconsistencies with, with what you're doing. Yeah, and yeah, you're, you're not a bad player. There are just a few inconsistencies, uh, especially with the Suzu. Uh, your healing's good. Right. Let's we'll see how you're doing on attack. Our tank is playing Diva this time. Your Diva is pressuring on high ground. Hanzo's a little hurt. Right, they are playing Anna again. Sorry, I died and sneezed. Um, what I was going to say, I'm about to sneeze again, aren't I? Hold, hold on. <coughs> so we, we throw Suzu out there. No one really needed Suzu there. Um, and then Diva runs off, gets antied. Uh, so if we had Suzu there, we probably could have kept Diva in our mech. Um, Diva is unfortunately dead now. Just kept running in just like by herself. Kind of peeking to get that turret uh, is fine. You, uh, you can pressure from quite, quite a range, as I said. Now, see, Diva's after getting anti and stunned and whatever there, and we didn't have Suzu on cooldown because I think we threw it at. We threw it at Hanzo, I think. I broke it. Oh, oh! I broke it. I'm sorry. You can, you can stop now. I can't, I can't even pause. Uh, stop. Right, so we're back. I fixed it. Um, see, so yeah, I, I think we use Suzu here on Hanzo. Um, right, we use it on ourselves. Um, we didn't really need it. We were, we were kind of out of that situation. Um, we were, you know, kind of behind the wall. Um, and even if she does end up dying again, soldier's still running, running out, trying to get kills. He's just doing with soldier. He does actually manage to get clone Torbjorn, so cool. Let's just keep him alive for now until our tank gets back. Back on Mauga. Mauga did work from last time. Um, he seems to actually do well on Mauga. Uh, tank has played a lot of people so far. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I don't mind this. Yeah, this is good. That's a good rush. Uh, we just keep Mauga alive. Keep our DPS alive. Yeah, I don't mind you using Suzu there either. And we win this fight. Sick. Cool, we win. We won that fight. So the good thing about Kirigo is she can heal from range. Um, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, we we did use Suzu on on Hanzo while Soldier was running in. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be too hard in that one. Be, uh, what I don't know what Mel is doing here. Well, be back. Both disconnected or something. We basically just want to keep Mel get alive. Yeah, see there. That that's that's a good Suzu. Keep getting you and Hanzo and all uh, on anti. That's, that's good. Um, yeah, we we want to keep. Keep Mauga alive because what Mauga thrives. That's that's unfortunate. We still have Suzu on cooldown. Yeah, doing that to keep him alive. It's fine. We do need to keep an eye on. Ma unfortunately, we 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 didn't have Suzu. Wasn't much we could have done there to keep him alive. Um, yeah, as as I always say, we just want to keep Mauga alive because he will thrive. He will just stand there and shoot if if he's just kept alive. He can heal himself, which is just, which just helps you do your job. Yeah, I don't mind that. We should win this fight. Rush, I don't mind. Getting Melga back up. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That that grab was really unfortunate for you. I think Diva is on our back line, though. Yeah. So even now, I'd, I'd say just communicate with the team. Uh, with, with Melga. Hey, Diva's in our back line. We need to do something about that. Um, and the enemy team now is just being really aggressive and pushing up and kind of picking us off one by one. So we, we kind of just want to get out of here. We just want to we just want to get out of here. Now, one thing there, we probably could have kept Moga alive. Um, a well-timed Zuzu will cancel that out. Uh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure you know that. Um, but. I think we, we could have kept Mauga alive there uh, by, by suzing, suzuing him and you uh, and timing that bomb to go off. Um, but we don't stick around here. We just, yeah, no, we, we get out here. Our team shouldn't even be up this far. But, you know, it isn't your fault. Nothing you can do about that. Um, you're just going to try to keep him alive. Uh, 
This guy, this guy's been playing like every tank in the game this match. Um, he's going in alone. That's yeah. He's he's going in alone. That's really unfortunate. So there's a lot of things actually going on in this game that you, you can't really do much to control. Like soldiers like up there by himself. And our tank is, is swapping again. Like, there's not much we can do about that. Uh, I think Soldier needs to kind of hide. And our tank needs to just stop. <laughs> just needs to stop. And I, I can see it here. You're scrambling on what to do, who to keep alive. Um, Which which is just rough. And he's swapping again. Uh, there's, there's not much you can really do here. But, being honest, um, we're going to seem like we're swapping blues here to see if we can get back to point fast enough. Good boop. Good boop. Booping them in, in into Winston while they're all focused on you. A lot of group damage there. But Winston, see, Winston does go down. Um, but we... We probably should have gone back. Should have gone back to the point a little quicker there. And um, oh, mm, and that's it. So there wasn't there wasn't a lot of bad stuff there. I'd say the main thing to work on uh, with Kirigo is just to work on that Suzu. The right time is when to use it and not um and being conscious of who who you're playing against. Anna, there's, there's always gonna be that battle between Anna and Kirigo. You know, Anna's gonna be hitting those sleeps. Gonna be one hitting those antis, and then Kirigo is kind of there to stop all that. It is unfortunate that that game your tank just wasn't wasn't it uh, it kept half swapping and not really playing with the team so that is just quite unfortunate there uh, yeah as I, I know from playing with you you're not bad it's just those those minor things that uh, need a little work and um, and it should be better they can kind of really help turn uh, a team fight but yeah other than that your aim seems good um i would say also just don't try overextend a little bit you're kind of sometimes going up a little too far kiriko she is good for pressuring at range because you know those daggers just fly straight out and she can heal from from quite a distance so i would say kind of only rush up rush up if your team is rushing up maybe if it's a guaranteed kill i don't mind you going up and killing them fuck it off back to your team but i'd say try push a little less because better players with better aim will we'll see that you're just coming at them and they'll, they'll just down you instantly but yeah other than that Aim is good, you're good at healing, you're, you're a good support player. It is just those minor inconsistencies. Hey, but that's all I have for this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. We're pushing for 500. We're at 365 as of recording this. So so we're pushing, we're pushing, we're almost there. Also, if you're a streamer uh, and you need some art done, some emotes, or you're just down for some cool art, my commissions are open over on my VGen, so you can go ahead and get yourself some sick art. And if you want to support the channel, keep this channel going, and make these videos keep coming, you can head over to my Kofi as well and support me there. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for today's video. See ya!